Welcome to Heat Check. This is the highest selling vintage denim on eBay over the last two weeks. Let's see what made the list. Starting the list off with a couple honorable mentions. First, we have this really interesting piece here. This Levi Strauss uh, Winchester collaboration shirt and tie. Uh, obviously a little bit of a hunting theme, but check this out. Uh, we've got some really blurry photos here. Uh, we have the Levi's and Winchester uh, comb uh, like uh, you know collab here. I believe, uh, from my understanding, this was like uh, like special order. But check out these buttons. They're actually off of a 3030 Winchester bullet. Um, really interesting and super unique, uh, unique piece here. You just do not see this ever. He's got. I mean, these are hard to come by. For sure, this one I believe even had some of the, this might be even like dead stock tags essentially. Uh, yeah, new old stock. Such a cool piece, little Levi's uh, Winchester combination. Uh, this would be probably from the 60s, I believe. Yeah, probably from the 60s. Uh, definitely an unusual piece you just do not see very often. Uh, it did go for uh, $154.49 with 18 bids. Uh, seems like a pretty good deal. Uh, then we have another honorable mention. We have this 30s, 40 Burlington overall uh, chin strap, which is right there. You can see uh, these are uh, senior cords, or you know, basically a jacket that you would draw all over uh, when you were a senior in high school. These have become really popular as of late because uh, the, all the art is unique and interesting. We have all of that <laughs> looks. Looks bad, blah, 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 blah. All kinds of cool little graffiti arts uh, from all their friends. Uh, again, these have become pretty uh, popular as of late. You can see the chin strap here in Burlington overall. Uh, Burlington overall being a, a smaller, lesser known brand, but I think I've, I recently sold some uh, some of their stuff too. Uh, but this is probably a pretty old, I'm not sure it's 30s, but um, it is kind of hard to be sure about that, but still it's super cool. Uh, I do believe it went for around 800 as well. All right now, diving into the top 10. Here is number 10. We do see these a lot. Uh, this is a Type 2 507 double X. Uh, this one looks like a pretty good one. Uh, it has a double-sided tab. And we definitely see this one all the time, and we will continue to see it on this list. Selvage on the inside, uh, as we would expect. This one is in pretty good condition, all things considered. Uh, let's take a look at the size real fast. Uh, even a pretty decent size, uh, like a 40, 42, 43 here on this jacket, which is really pretty good. Uh, it is kind of surprising that in such good condition for the most part and good size that it uh, did not make it higher on this list. This one sold for 1250. Then we have another Levi's pair of. Then we have a pair of Levi's 501s here from the 1960s. 33 by 27 Selvage. Let's take a look. We've got some paint splatters. Some people like the paint splatter, so, you know, to each their own. Uh, these look like generally pretty good condition. We have a pretty good, uh, still quite a bit of color on there. We have the number four, and we have a V stitch uh, clearly indicating that these are uh, mid to late 60s. I'm not sure if there's any hidden rivets, so this would probably clearly put it in that um, uh, late 60s era that you can see right there, no hidden rivets. Either way, really good pair of jeans. We do see these a lot, so uh, nothing super crazy about these uh, per se. Uh, these also sold for $13.50. I told you we'd have a Type 2s again, and here we have a 1950s Type 2. Um, this one's pretty fascinating because uh, it says, you know, light wear. Uh, I would say this is probably more on the mild wear side of things. You can see uh, there's something dark about those uh, pocket co uh, covers. It's just kind of hard to say. Oh, it looks like they had some patches on them. The patches were removed. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'd probably say more like, a, a, you know, mild wear. You can see there on the neck as well, which is a really common place to get some wear. Um, and those uh, pocket covers are definitely, the pocket flaps are definitely much darker. And they might be more originally, uh, more of the original color. Uh, nothing too crazy to write home about on this one. Yeah, light wear, again, mild wear, most likely a better description of it. Pretty good pair. It also sold for $13.50. 
Then at number seven, we have a company we don't see too often on the list. And this is a pair of Wrangler Bluebells. Uh, these are super cool. Uh, probably from the 50s here. Uh, wow, we do not see these often. Uh, they don't typically go for as much, but I think we're going to start seeing more of them and more of them. Uh, Wrangler just did a great job with their branding. Uh, you can take a look down here. Coming with a cartoon. It's just a really cool little piece of history attached to the, these uh, jeans. Uh, 36 by 34, so good, uh, good, good, like good size. Um, these jeans are beautiful. I think, in my opinion, underrated for Wranglers. Uh, or for, excuse me, in terms of all uh, denim, that they definitely deserve a little bit more love. Uh, but these are beautiful. And they went for 14 at 25 with 24 bids. Uh, incredible pair. Hope to see more Wrangler on this list. All right, then we have a Type 3, but a really interesting Type 3. This is the 558XX. I think we had one of these on the list not too long ago. Uh, this one was sold out of Canada, thus the Canadian uh, numbers here. We have the big E. This would have been early to mid 60s. Size 36 is a bit small, but again, these are hard to come by. So uh, early 60s. These were extended, so uh, quite a bit longer than the 557, which was almost felt a bit cropped, kind of like the uh, Type 2 or the 506 uh, um, uh, as well. Uh, but these are this one is beautiful look at the color there are some defects obviously some like well, some sort of staining or something like that uh, either way a uh, beautiful pair let's look at uh, look, our beautiful jacket looking here you do not see that uh selvage uh inside as you normally would on, or that uh, you would on a type 2 but still a uh, gorgeous jacket nonetheless uh, this one sold for a little bit of an unusual number 178938 uh, according uh, of course it's probably because it was uh, an American buyer buying a Canadian uh, in Canadian money. Beautiful jacket. So next up, we have another pair of 501s. And I'll admit, uh, this week's list is a bit weird. We have uh, some sort of out there sales, which are pretty bizarre, including this one. We have a pair of 501s in size 33, 36, which is a, you know maybe a harder size to come by. Um, uh, but this is from 1980, uh, pretty clearly from 1980. Um, here we have 1200 uh, and the six for the factory code. Uh, so these are not particularly old. They're not single stitch. They are, of course, selvage. Uh, at least I believe they are, right? They, have, they are selvage. Yeah, they should be selvage. Yep. Um, but what's so sort of strange about this is that jeans like this wouldn't probably normally make the list. Of course they are. It looks like they are basically dead stock without tags. So that definitely helps their value. But uh, it's pretty crazy to see these jeans go for $1,824 with 46 bids. Um, I mean, maybe that's what we're getting to where the dead stock, you know, pairs of selvage uh, Levi's are just harder and harder to come by and thus the value and the price continue to skyrocket either way uh, They did get a good price for these jeans So I did say that it is the season of the type 2 the type 2 is dominating right now uh, We have not even seen a type 1 so far on this list uh, and spoiler alert There are no type 1s on this list but this is so far one of the better looking uh, type twos that we have seen. Of course, it doesn't have the uh, patch, which is a bummer. Uh, but otherwise, it looks like it's in you know significantly better condition than some of the ones we saw earlier. Um, let's see. It says it fits medium to large, which uh, that would be really interesting here. Yep, we're looking like around a 40, uh, 44. So that is a good size. Um, so that plus the decent condition definitely makes sense why this sold for more than the other ones this one sold for two thousand dollars all right and for the last of the type 2 507s on this list we have this one right here better color than the previous one uh, definitely a darker a deeper darker blue um, let's see if they give us a size it looks like it's estimated 38 or 40 or so, um, uh, which is a bit smaller, uh, but the condition definitely helps this one for sure. 
but it only edges out the previous one by eight dollars this one sold for two thousand and eight dollars with four bids so at number two we have another sort of kind of outlandish uh sale here uh, and again the way we do this is we look at the the data and if it says that it sold we report it we don't necessarily uh, we do some vetting, but you know, this is a seller that has really good feedback um, And it does appear that it the transaction that did happen. Uh, we have a pair of 501s uh, These are 60s 501s. Let's take a look at some of the details. They are not hidden rivets uh, And does not appear that they are even uh, Have a v-stitch here. Obviously you don't see a v-stitch. So uh, these are like late 60s so not not that crazy not that super rare they are in incredibly good condition only a few washes obviously um, but still uh, it feels like we've seen jeans uh, far more rare and old than this go for uh, not nearly as much as this one went for so uh, if you know why let me know in the comments below but uh uh, definitely a little bit confused. This one sold for three thousand and five hundred dollars. Yes, you heard that correctly. Um, I I don't know. Either way, beautiful pair of jeans, but uh, big time sale for sure. Then at number one, the wild outlander sales continue with this one right here. We have a five hundred one. Looks like we have probably from. Let's take a look at this patch. Yeah, probably from the late 60s here. Uh, let's see, we have a V-stitch. I'm not seeing any uh, hidden rivets. Nope, probably from the late 60s. Uh, you guys are gonna flip, but this one's interesting because it has uh, uh, Sashiko, I think I'm pronouncing it correctly, repairs, which are you know sort of coveted and beautiful repairs. You can see here like on the back. And the repairs that have been done on this pair of jeans have been uh, apparently done with period or uh, rel you know relatively um, uh, approximated aged Levi's material, so it's sort of authentic. Um, it is obviously a really cool look. The seller really wants you to know that it's a cool look. Um, that's you know unique and wild, um, and then they certainly are. They are a very interesting pair of jeans. You can see some of the cool repairs there. Uh, apparently he did spend a good bit of money to do these repairs as well uh, but uh, this gene uh, at this age without all the repairs would not even get close to this number this pair of jeans sold for six thousand five hundred dollars if I did not see the data I would not have believed it and if you can tell me exactly why maybe you know the story behind these jeans leave it in the comments below because uh, I'm inclined to believe it because the data says so. Uh, but uh, definitely seems like a really, really out, uh, you know, out of left field price uh, for these jeans. And, uh, uh, you know, but, but maybe, you know, Celebrity Solomon loved them and wanted them. So who knows? Uh, I don't know. If you know, let me know. Either way, it's a, definitely a really cool pair of jeans. For sure, one of the most interesting pairs we've seen in a while. Uh, but... Uh, what a wild price uh, hard to say how uh, if that is completely accurate but uh, as far as we can tell transaction did go through and that's what we're really concerned with so either way to uh, get off my bumper congratulations for such a beautiful sale uh, and a beautiful from a beautiful pair of jeans and uh, congratulations for sure because uh, that was a, a uh, one of the better sales we've seen in a long time so uh, congratulations number one